rights decisions on the United Nations panels. <laughs> I just thought, what kind of a world are we living in right now? What's going on? Uh, the world has just gone bonkers, gone crazy. But I'm just fed up. I'm really fed up. I used to pride myself on being an extreme lefty. Okay, and I still am to a certain degree, but sometimes I find myself a little bit left to the middle. Left. 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 Here. Here. Well, where? There's only 2,000 tigers left in this world. White tigers. What's going on? What are we doing to this planet? What are we doing to these endangered species? Some people, Rupert Murdoch and people like such, deny emphatically that they have any inclination as to what's going on with global warming. What's going on? There are 81 countries in this world where being gay is illegal. Ten of those countries actually kill you if you're gay. Poor 15-year-old boys that were found in bed with their lovers, thrown over a building and hung in front of all to see. This world has just gone to pop. Beautiful safari parks like the Serengeti are being sold off to stinking rich oil tycoons who use it just to hunt. The Masai Mara are being kicked out of their own tribal homes. All because of money, all because of capitalization, greed, oil and wealth. The world is being fucked up. It's not just third world countries that are going backwards and digressing as far as I'm concerned. It's some first world countries as well. Look at America, some of the states there. The Westboro Baptist Church, all these evil evil organisations, the Defence Alliance Against Freedom, you know, all of these horrible, horrible organisations where $43 billion applied in, are, are pounded in to support some of their hateful, disgusting, bigoted, draconian ideas. When all that money could be going on, on, on starving children over the world, famine and disease. Oh my god, oh left. my god, you are just such an arsehole. Oh my god. Now, to add insult to injury, we actually are witnessing before our very eyes a man like Donald Trump, a fascist, disgusting, bigoted, racist, sexist, homophobic, wannabe dictator, almost, almost getting to where he wants. <laughs> Isn't it scary that in a first world country like America, that so many people are actually going through this and falling for that prick's ideas. We had Tony Abbott in Australia, I've been here for six years and even though I'm from London, I have never seen such an inarticulate, bigoted prick as Tony Abbott until Donald Trump. Although we've always known Donald Trump, it's just that no one would have ever believed that he would have got this far we carry on electing fascists, if we allow some of these governments to keep on dragging out these draconian, archaic, outmoded views, opinions, laws and, and, and ways and traditions, then future generations are going to be seeing an altogether a completely different world. I, I, I personally believe that a lot of religion is at the forefront of most evil, uh, that religion is, is the, the the grounding for most hate, dissension and fights and violence and war. But that doesn't mean that I condemn all religious people because not all religious people use and abuse it and misconstrue their own Bibles and use whatever bits they want that suits them just so that they can play God and look down on people who don't, people who are completely different and don't live a life like they do. I don't, I don't condemn people that just are religious because they want to be because it suits them and they still love other people, they still accept other people, love thy neighbour the way it should be, you know, it doesn't matter what's here, it's what's in here. So I don't condemn religious people but the fanatic zealots, those that really do play God and are, in my opinion, fucking insane and crazy.
yeah, we can all have a laugh and take the piss out of each other. Yes, we're all, all subject to that. I do that. But to go as far as, as violence, war, and dictatorship, hateful, horrible, harmful bigotry that is indoctrinated from an early age, making young children who are gay kill themselves because they can't stand what they have to face in the future because they have to live up to these archetypal macho ways in certain countries, you know? We all have a right to say what we feel, to aerate our opinions, but not to the detriment of other people. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? How much of that have you drunk? No. Oh my god, you are such a fucking pisshead. I'm not pissed. You're just sat there talking bollocks. Look at you sweating yes, like I'm sweating freak. because of the lights. I need lights down. Yeah, you can't leave it behind, can you? We moved to Australia so that you'd stop getting so pissed in London and look at you. I don't think I'm on the desert. Go piss off, get out. Hurry up. I don't know why I'm frightened. I love him. Fight. Fight with all the might that you have inside you. We have to keep on fighting. We have to. Will you hurry up? What are you Shut doing up. sat there? Who are you talking I'm to? Finished in a minute. Weirdo. Try to find some peace with it. Barack Obama, Abraham Lincoln, Harvey Milk, we love you. Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump, Tony Abbott, watch your beef. Oh, oh sorry, watch your fish.